now that we know what fields uh, can exist within a query for um, the campaign resource being in the from clause, now we need to understand of those fields which can exist in the select clause, the where clause, the order by clause. Not all fields can exist in all clauses. And as a matter of fact, it's quite often that you'll find that a field is selectable, but it is not filterable. So to understand what is selectable, what is filterable, what is sortable, there are actually filterable, selectable, sortable uh, metadata fields on each object. So in this scenario, I'm looking at the uh, campaign.manual CPM attribute. This is an attribute on the campaign resource like we saw earlier. And I'm going to find out, are, is it selectable? Is it filterable? Is it sortable? What can I do with it within a query? So in running this, I'm going to see, okay, I'm getting back my resource name, manual CPM, attribute of campaign. I'm seeing selectable equals true. Great, I can select it. Now I'm also seeing though that filterable and sortable are false. This means that this field cannot be used within the where clause or within the uh, order by clause. It can only be used within the select clause. We could go through and we could do this for each field and that would give us a, a per field understanding of what are they, are they selectable, are they filterable, are they sortable. Uh, we could also, uh, instead of uh, filtering this on where name equals campaign.manual CPM, we could filter this where name equals campaign.wildcard like we've been doing uh, in, the, in the previous examples to give us all fields and the selectability, filterability, sortability. But let's say we just want to see only those fields, only those attributes of campaign that are, that are filterable. So we can actually add the filterable equals true claw, uh, 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 phrase into the where clause. So in this scenario, I'm saying, get me back all attributes where they're like campaign.wildcard, okay, so a campaign attribute, and only where they're filterable. So this will give me a list of only those that I can use in the where, of those that can be used in the where clause. And you'll see the results here now are 65. There are 65 attributes of campaign that you can find, uh, that, that you can use in the where clause. And the same is gonna hold true for, um, like we had seen earlier, you can use attribute resources in the same query. So campaign budget, we had looked at the attributes of campaign budget earlier. Um, we would actually do the same thing, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with campaign budget if we wanted to see which fields of campaign budget could be used in the where clause. So again, same query, we're going to, there it is, we're going to um, select the name of the field where the name is like campaign budget.wildcard and where it's filterable equals true. So if I run this, I'm going to get back all of the um, campaign budget attributes that are able to be used in the where clause and you'll see there are 17. So this basically sums up how to understand which attributes can be used for uh, the where clause, for the select clause, for the order by clause. And now we need to look at the other aspects of, of the query, the other types of fields, metrics and segments. So metrics uh, and segments, actually, they both are very similar in how you would figure out what can and can't be used in each part of the query. So we're just gonna focus on doing it for metrics and then you can go ahead and replicate it for segments. So for metrics, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the metrics that are available, again, for the campaign resource. So to do so, I'm going to select metrics where the name of the field we're looking at is campaign. Now this shows us all metrics that are available to be selected, to be filtered, to be sorted, uh, and, and we have to figure out uh, for each one whether they can be used in, in each clause, but this tells us which fields are able to be queried for the campaign resource. Um, in this list, there's metrics.clicks, metrics.impressions, um, all of the metrics available uh, for the campaign resource. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save off this metrics list to a, a variable. So I'm just going to go ahead and again select it into, uh, into a metrics variable locally. 
Okay, great. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very similar query to what we had done for attributes. I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to call the Google Ads field service selecting the name of the field where sortable or filterable or whatever I'm looking at is true. Uh, but instead of doing where name uh, is campaign.wildcard, instead I'm going to say where name is in the list of metrics that we just saved. So that's going to look like this. Uh, we're going to select again name of the field, where the name of the field is in that metrics list that we just saw, and where again sortable equals true, filterable equals true, selectable equals true, the same paradigm for all of them. Now this is going to give us 83 results and you're going to see that each result returned is a metric and each of those metrics in the scenario of the query that we just ran are able to be used in the order by. They are sortable. Uh, you can do the inverse of this as well if you wanted to say, okay, but which ones are not sortable? Uh, you could just change this to false. It's going to work the same way. You're going to see there's only one metric in this um, uh, for, for the campaign resource that you can't select just because it doesn't work with the campaign resource. Now, it would be the same thing, again, like I said, for uh, filtering and selecting, and it would also be the same thing for uh, segments. So this would be the paradigm that we can use to understand uh, what clauses to use our fields in.